right, I'm going to show you something to do with quail, because I know a lot of people have never cooked them. Um, probably the easiest thing you can do is just cut the backbone out with a pair of scissors, slice them in half, put some kind of spice rub on them, and deep fry them for three and a half, four minutes. I'm going to go a little bit more complex than that, so I'm actually going to take the legs off. So if you just follow the natural line there, down through, pop that leg, and that will come off. We'll do the same to the other side. Move that guy out of the way. So there's one leg, and you can see you just go down, down there, pull that back till you hear it pop, and then go across here. Just pop it away from the... So you've got those two, and then I think a professional chef would just remove that and they'd cook it with the bone in, cook it on the crown. Um, I can't seem to get that right. I always overdo them when I do that. So I'm gonna pop these wings off. And then I'm just going to take the breast meat off with the skin. So, there's the bird. You can see that line right down the middle, which is the breastbone. And you want to just put your knife straight down one side, all the way right to the bone. And then starting at the thin end, not the head end, just start sliding your knife like that. And it will slide that meat right away. See how it's just pulling away from the thing. So I'm not sawing like this. I'm kind of rubbing the knife like that. And once I get there, I turn it around, go all the way up to where the wishbone was, and you get one little quail breast. Same thing on the other side. Just go down the other side of the of the breastbone. The same thing, just peeling it back. Once you get there, you can oh, make sure I get all the way up there. You can just turn it around. I'm sure you can hear the neighbor's dog and my neighbor just rode up on his scooter as well. I'm sure that's coming off in the in the audio. So there you have the bones. You've got leg and thigh, leg and thigh, and two breasts. So obviously for one that person, that's going to be an appetizer, but I'll clean the other ones up and then I'll show you what I do with them. Actually, no, I will salt them. Get the salt on them right away and salt those legs. and I'll work on the other one. Okay, so what I've got is chicken stock with some allspice, some cardamom, some coriander seeds, and I'm not gonna boil these legs. I'm gonna confit them in this. So you just want it basically at the temperature, the internal temperature that you'd want your meat, which is definitely off a boil. It's barely even a bubble. You can see it's just sitting there. Um, and I'll time those to see how long they take, but this should be, this should be a little while. Just let them go nice and slow just to the, it's almost falling off the bone, and then I'm going to throw them in the oven at a really high temperature to crispen up the skin. So that has been 20 minutes. You can see it's just blipping away. It's definitely not boiling. I'll see if I can show you how, let me see, let me, this one, yeah, you can see how the meat right here, oop right here has pulled away from the from the bone and I can feel in the tongs it's nice and soft so I'm taking those out I'm sticking them on a tray to go in the oven and those will steam dry a little bit before I put them in the oven because I've got the broiler on high um, the cavalonero is going in the same stuff that's just for on the side and that will cook while everything else is cooking you can see these guys steaming dry. 
And the drier the skin when you put it in the oven, the better the, or the more crispy it would get. So if it doesn't go completely dry, I, I might even pat it off with some um, paper towel. So for the quail breasts, I've got a not super hot pan, just a warm pan. Put some butter in, put some a little olive oil in. I know that looks like a lot, but you're not gonna be eating all of that. The reason for not going hot at first is because we wanna put these in. This is lemon thyme and rosemary. And really all you're doing with that is trying to flavor the butter because these will cook so fast that it's hard to get flavor into them aside from just salt. So I will let those things just kind of get together in the pan so the butter smells like the herbs. Okay, the herbs are starting to pop. I can hear them popping in there. So we're gonna take these quail breasts and we're gonna cook them skin side down probably for 90% of the cooking time. And we'll just scoop the butter over the other side so it won't need, need much at all. Okay, I can see that these are almost done because I can see the meat cooked through here. I'm gonna flip them over just for the last little bit of cooking. You can see we got nice crispy skin on it. And this won't take long because they'll keep cooking once they're out of the pan because they're already so warm. So these are done, I'm gonna pull them off. I'm gonna make a really super fast um, pan sauce with everything that's in there. So get the herbs out of there. So you don't get big chunks of herbs in it. Going with about oh, that much flour. That's maybe a teaspoon and a half. Cook the flour down. If you cook the flour down, you won't get lumps in your sauce. This is a sweet Pedro Jimenez sherry. I'm gonna put in, I'll call that two tablespoons. And some of this cooking liquid that we did the, um, the legs and thighs in. And that should come together really quickly. All right, we'll put it all together. So there's a pan seared uh, quail breasts, confit legs that I finished off in the oven with a Pedro Jimenez uh, gravy underneath and uh, cabalonero from the garden.